number two, live odds, sportsbookreview.com, powered by you, Wager, MLB, Cleveland, and Texas. Uh, the Indians are $1.40 on the road, and eight and a half the total. It's Carrasco against Perez. Carrasco update, career mark of 44 and 46 with a 3.92 ERA. Missed the playoffs last year because of that hand injury, but last three seasons, the field and independent pitching ranks ninth, 9.8 strikeouts per nine innings, and you see the walks per nine innings and the ground ball rate as well. Last three seasons, more than nine strikeouts per nine innings, less than two and a half walks per nine innings, and the, and the ground ball rate, more than 50%. Arietta Carrasco, and Kershaw, Teddy. I did not know that. Arietta Carrasco, and Kershaw, Paulie. Exactly. That's one, two, and three when you're talking about some pretty impressive advanced metric stats. And it's very clear when you look at the number for this game. Look at Cleveland. They're laying a buck 40 on the highway to Texas. All right. Carrasco is a pitcher who is absolutely in the, the betting markets are infatuated, infatuated with this guy. And because the advanced metrics numbers say you, you're supposed to price him like Kershaw, you're supposed to price him like Arietta. Hasn't been there yet in terms of the career win loss mark, hasn't been there yet in terms of the career. ERA, and if you bet on him, you haven't made a whole lot of money, but I'm telling you, when it comes to those advanced metric numbers, they're in love, and of course, the Indians' bullpen, you know, it's going to be there. Andrew Miller, Cody Allen struck out, what, five of the seven batters they faced on opening day. Then you have Texas, and the miracle that happened last year, this is a little bit of luck, it's great managing, and they blew a four-run lead yesterday, but look at this under Bannister. Their record and run differential under Bannister. 183 and 100, 183 wins, 142 losses, plus four runs. Almost impossible to be plus four in net runs and be 41 games over 500. And how did they do that? Last year, the best record in MLB history in one-run games. And, and you again, you look at the numbers. The RA is not all that good. The fielding and pitching is not all that good. The hitting's okay, but not blow you away. But they continue to find ways to win. And we give Bannister credit. We give Baseball Luck some credit. And we give the fact that, you know, the team's pretty good, even though the advanced metric numbers say and the Pythagorean theories say they have vastly overachieved to that plus four differential over the past two seasons. Now, look, Martin Perez, the guy, eats innings at 198.2 last year. But he's also not necessarily the type of guy that is going to impress the advanced metric markets. He didn't really uh, have a ton of pop last year after his Tommy John surgery. 10-11 with a 4.39 ERA and only 4.7 strikeouts per nine innings. So the markets respond to that particular stat. Not a lot of strikeouts versus a pitcher with a ton of strikeouts, hence Cleveland as the big road chalk. And, of course, 73 qualifying pitchers in 2016 with enough innings pitched. And Perez, number 73, in strikeout per nine, more than half a strikeout per nine inning less than the number 72 guy on that list, Jared Weaver. Texas also, it's worth noting, beginning the season without uh, Adrian Beltre on the DL, uh, Joey Gallo having to fill in for one of the Rangers' biggest bets. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.